Today I'll explain you about the deck air compressor screw type, make TMC and what went wrong. If you see this diagram, simple diagram of the deck air compressor screw type, you can see this is the screw type compressor here, this is the air filter, we got the pulley, we got the motor here, this is the oil separator, this is the oil cooler, air cooler here. I will explain briefly the function of it. Uh, we are looking into the orifice here. This is the oil separator. The oil need to come back through the orifice to the bearing. If this is clogged, then the bearing get damaged. This is what happened in our case. Uh, one reason for the compressor bearing got damaged is the orifice was clogged. For orifice to get clogged, the oil had water. I will explain you why water came into the system. I will explain you briefly the line diagram here. So if you see the this is the oil cooler. You can see the oil is coming from this chamber. You can see it run this here. It is going here. Then coming out. Going here. You can see this. And we have got a water line. Inlet and outlet. You can see the water coming in from here and going through this and out here. So water is again used to maintain the temperature of the air and the oil so that oil is cooled and air is also cooled. So you can see the water and these are the filters here. You can see the filters here and these are safety walls. So main concern here is make sure that uh, the temperature of the compressor running should be above 80 or 90 degrees. Why? Because of the humidity in the air, there is always possibility that water can come into the oil. So you have to make sure your sump oil is not contaminated by water. I will tell you that. So this is the cover we opened and I am talking about this orifice here, return line. This is the outlet hole for the lube oil. This is the cover where I opened it. This is a non return valve. So this orifice was clogged. So if you want to see the damaged bearing, this is the damaged bearing. So the whole bearing was damaged and the company had told us to replace the whole compressor. So we spent around $10,000 on this. So make sure that such kind of problem doesn't occur in your vessel. I am talking about this graph here, relative humidity 80%, relative humidity 100%. So if the humidity is 80%, then what you have to do is, inlet temperature of the air, this temperature, inlet temperature, mostly the temperature of the air will be around 30 or 35 in this range. So, and uh, pressure is around 10 bar if you are assuming, you go this blue line, if temperature is around air temperature 30 degrees come up here then come this side so it's 80 degrees the compressor should be running at temperature of 80 degrees use the infrared temperature gun to measure the temperature of the compressor this should be above this line so if the temperature is below then there is possibility the condensation taking place so you have to change the oil regularly if you are not maintaining the temperature the important thing to note is you need to run the uh, compressor at least twice a week if you are not using a TMC compressor run it at full load for at least half an hour so when you run like this there is always possibility that water condensation will not take place if you are not running it there is always possibility that condensation will take place and you have to spend lot of money on maintenance of the deck air compressor so very important point so please remember for safe running and save money and time for the company. Thank you.